Ah, pranked you. You didn't actually think I was still going to watch this piece of garbage, did you? No, I told you that I wasn't, and I, I keep my promises. But what I am going to do is talk to you about a little thing in media called representation, right? Now, I agree. Not every movie on the planet needs to be led by an all-white cast with a straight male uh, protagonist. Sometimes you can cast a, a person of color or a representative of some other sort of... Uh, minority you can cast a gay person you can cast a blind person you can cast a paraplegic i don't care all right um and yeah if you have a superhero movie where the character is a white female you should cast a white female but what you shouldn't do is cast some sort of freedom finder because that's where you start to lose people now i'll give brie this she didn't say that she doesn't want white people to watch captain marvel but she did say about A Wrinkle of Time back last year, one of the worst movies of 2018, that she doesn't care what some 40-year-old white dude thinks of the movie because it wasn't made for him. What that tells me is that she doesn't think that a white person's opinion, a white, an older white man's opinion on a movie, a sci-fi adventure movie led by a, a female, uh, is valid. I don't think I said that sentence right, but I think you know what I mean. Um, you, you know what Captain Marvel is? It's a sci-fi adventure movie led by a woman. So by her saying that about A Wrinkle in Time, which is also a Disney movie, she's basically said that that's just how she feels about these types of movies and that demographic of people talking about them. What's my hair doing? Point is, though, uh, one thing that I'll give Black Panther credit for is that none of the actors involved said anything to this effect. Michael B. Jordan was on, uh, I think, in Morning America where he said... You know, you can be pro-black and not be anti-white. You can be pro-black and not be anti-anything. You can be proud of who you are, but without alienating other people. You know, Black Panther was a movie made for people my skin color, but that doesn't mean that we that other people weren't allowed to watch it. That was all the fans. The cast, the crew, the people behind the movie didn't do any of that. It was just the fans of the movie. Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot, Chris Pine, nobody involved in that movie said that... that because that movie's goal was to give girls a character like a hero to look up to doesn't mean that men can't watch it or transgender people can't watch it. Whatever you are, whatever your background is, it's a movie for you to watch. Like, my thing is, are you a fan of the source material in any way? Are you a fan of what's come before? Are you a fan of this type of movie? If you answered yes to any of that, then this movie is for you. I don't care who it's about, who wrote it, who directed it. There's no way that you could tell me that a Marvel movie isn't for me because I'm not a woman, because I'm not a girl. I'm not a young girl with a, like, needing some sort of role model to look up to. Because here's the thing. Look at me. I'm a minority. I don't care, though. I don't care about characters being black or characters having permed hair or whatever so that I can relate to them. All they need to do is be human. I don't care what skin color they are. Some of my favorite characters are Spider-Man and Luke Skywalker and Captain America, and they're all bone white. It doesn't matter. But I get it. If you want a black character to look up to, they're out there for you. I just don't want characters that already exist being turned black for no reason. I'll get into that at a, at a later time. Point is, though, let's, let's talk about all the movies led by women or by minorities that didn't do Anything similar to what Brie Larson did. Uh, Blade, Spawn, Elektra, Meteor Man, uh, Catwoman, Wonder Woman, um, Ultraviolet, Underworld, Resident Evil. Like, it doesn't really make any sense. And I'll also give Brie this. For Captain Marvel, she said she doesn't want her press tour to be limited to white guys. I'm sorry? This is a very high-profile Marvel movie. You can't just have every... Because she said that she wants more seats at the table. There's not just infinite seats. Not everybody in the press circuit gets to just talk about each movie that comes out. She doesn't get to control that. The people behind BBC One or 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 Vice or Livewire or uh, Wired or GQ, any of those companies, they choose who gets to represent their company at these press conferences. It's not up to you, Brie. You don't get to just make these calls. I don't know why you're trying so hard to, like, cover your tracks as well. Like, I know you don't want your words twisted, but we're not really twisting your words when you've said this before. 
And I'm sorry, Brie. I'm sure you do a great job in this movie. But I may not be a white male, right? But I don't care because what you have said is that the opinion of my peers or my mentors or my pastor don't matter. So therefore, why do you want my opinion just because I'm a darker skin color than them? I'm sorry, Brie, that's not how it works. You mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. Simple as that. I feel like as a man, you don't want my opinion, but that's okay because I'm not going to give it to you. I'm not going to watch your movie. There are millions of people across this great nation that aren't going to watch your movie. And people have this same idea that it won't affect the box office bottom line. It won't affect Marvel's like income from this movie. Think about Solo or Star Wars Story. If the studio and its representatives make the fan base angry enough, we will fight back. We will lash out. We will speak with our wallets. We will not go see your next movie. And that's the exact same position Captain Marvel is in. Notice how Rotten Tomatoes disabled their want to see button on movies. Because we just don't want to see this movie because of your lead actor. It has nothing to do with Samuel L. Jackson or Clark Gregg or whoever else might cameo in this movie. We don't like Brie. But also Rotten Tomatoes is the only one to, the only website rather, to really give Captain Marvel a positive score. I think it currently sits at an 83. Metacritic gave it a 66. IndieWire gave it a 2 out of 5. Facebook gave it a 3 out of 5. It's doing pretty poorly across the board except for Rotten Tomatoes. There might be something to that. I don't know. I won't talk about that right now. But the, the, the main thing I'm trying to say here is there's a right way to do representation in film because bottom line is you can have a political message or an agenda that you want to push. It's all about execution and if the movie is good without it. Wonder Woman and Black Panther both failed to do that. I'm sure Captain Marvel does too. The fact of the matter is you still need to push a strong narrative before you push anything else. But um, that's really all I wanted to say this final time. Uh, that's it. See you.